Hello, I'm Holly Ringland. I'm the author of The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart, and I'm sitting here today in the stunning Kuringai Wildflower Gardens to talk to you about my first novel. I thought I might share with you the inspiration behind the language of Australian native flowers, which is something that I made up and uh, is used throughout the novel as a unifying theme that brings Alice's story together and the story of the characters around her. Um, in 2014, uh, while I was researching other things, I came across the Victorian language of flowers, which was a craze that swept across Europe um, in Queen Victoria's time, when people used flowers very literally to communicate with each other, to say the things that were socially too awkward or too hard or confronting to speak. Um, while I was, the research I was doing, like when I found that information, I was looking into selective muteness because my main character, Alice, doesn't speak for quite a while after a very traumatic incident uh, in her childhood. And so this idea of voice and how we tell our stories really captured my mind when I discovered that people used to speak through flowers to avoid the confrontational nature of expressing their feelings, my imagination was completely captured. And so it was further gripped and bewitched by learning that flowers in Europe weren't just used to say beautiful things like, I love you, I'm besotted with you, I really can't wait to see you again. They were also used to send pretty aggressive, vicious messages like, I spite you, a curse upon your home, I never want to see you again. And flowers like foxgloves, which are poisonous, and other plants that could, you know, if ingested, make you sick, were the plants that conveyed those messages. The language of flowers was so popular in Victorian England that people had household dictionaries and could speak to each other that way. So I really wanted to use this language of flowers in an Australian native flower sense because I really wanted to ground this story in our incredible flora and landscapes. And it just was such a wonderful, enchanting way to give Alice a voice when she couldn't use her own as a child.